While Paul was waiting in Athens for Silas and Timothy, he was greatly upset when he noticed how full of idols the city was. So he held discussions in the synagogue with the Jews and with the Gentiles who worship God, <clears throat> and also in the public square every day, the people who happened to come by. Certain Epicurean and Stoic teachers also debated with him. Some of them asked, what is this ignorant show-off trying to say? <laughs> Others answered, he seems to be talking about foreign gods. They said this because Paul was preaching about Jesus and the resurrection. So they took Paul, brought him before the city council, the Areopagus, and said, we would like to know what this new teaching is that you are talking about. Some of the things we hear you say sound strange to us, and we would like you to know what they mean. For all the citizens of Athens and the foreigners who live there like to spend their time telling and hearing the latest new thing. Well, they indeed like to hear the latest new thing. To them, maybe whatever Paul's selling through his speeches is the latest fad. And maybe there's something that they could incorporate into what they already believe to be true. The Athenians, without a doubt, were the most arrogant people in the Roman Empire. They thought they understood everything. While they had long since given up any real power because the Romans had conquered them, they still believed that intellectually they were better than everybody else. And Paul came and preached something that was totally foreign to them. He preached about a man who was crucified and rose again and took upon himself the sins of the entire world, even the sins of the Athenians. The Athenians are not humble enough to accept this message, and only a few people are converted. It reminds us sometimes that we can sometimes get too proud of the things that we know, that it might be in the things that we don't know or that might surprise us where God presents himself in our lives. Mm -hmm.